This is called a punch needle. It has a hole that runs from one end all the way to the other. And then it, it has an eye. This small hole is used to make DIY rugs. It is used to make rugs like this one. So this is a fluffy rug. And then you can have a shaggy rug like this one with loose ends. And you can use you can use a sack material or a very tight fabric or cloth like this one to make your fluffy rug and your shaggy rug. All you need to do is to punch holes through this. So if you have one of those hapu clothes like this, and then you can try and stretch your fabric or your sack material and then you just punch throughout until you're done. Alternatively, you can just use your fingers. So this is one that I was making. Alternatively, you can use your fingers. So these two fingers, the thumb and the index finger, you hold like this. So it holds this and this holds like this. And then using the middle finger, you place it on this side like that. And then you can hold it with this ring finger like this so that you're stretching. So you see, if I try to punch like this, it will give me a headache. But if I stretch, if I hold like this, then I can punch. Because I am stretching with my fingers like this. I am stretching the sack with my fingers like this. So this is how you make use of a punch needle. So first of all, you need to know how to insert. So it has this thick part, which is where you hold, and it has this raised part, which is the limit past which you can go with your needle. For instance, if I punched like that, my needle goes only up to here, and this part does not go in. So that's a punch needle. You need to know how to insert your thread through this hole. If you have a needle, then you can just hold this and then you pull through the other end. Alternatively, you can use any thin stick like this. So this is a makuti wire, very simple. So using this thin stick, I'm going to insert the ends of this yarn. And then I'm going to push it. So if you can see, I'm going to push it all the way until it comes out on this end. So like this. So you can see it's going in. So here is your thread. You can pull it, pull out your stick. Make sure that your stick does not come out with your thread. So you have successfully threaded your punch needle. So, so there you go. This is not the end. You need to make sure that this end goes through this eye here and comes out through this upper side. So again, get your stick or your sharp end of a needle and make sure that like that. So you can pull. I had a rag like this, which I need to fill with this. So here it is. So I have not completed this outer side, but I want to start with this. So I'll go to my underside. My, the underside of my fluffy rag looks like this. So I will make sure that this end is always facing away from me. So I will punch like that. So if there's too much lighting, just a minute. So I will punch. And then, because I'm starting with this new one, I am going to pull this all the way so that I can make a knot later. And then I'm going to pull. Make sure you have enough length. And then you're going to punch again, making sure this end faces away from you. So you punch all the way to where your need punch needle thickens. So here it is. So for now, I am going to hold this with my hand. I'm going to pull this so that I can make a knot with this loose end. So like that. If you like, you can repeat. Now I can cut this loose end. Perfect. So I will pull this only up to where this disappears, like that. So here I have it. So for now, I hold this like this. And then, see if I pull this needle, this thread is going to get in here like that. So this is my yarn. So again, make sure you have enough thread like that. Punch. So I use my fingers to hold and stretch this because I cannot just punch like that. So I will punch this all the way to the end. Pull out, then punch again. So basically this is all you do. You punch. So see, whenever you punch, there is this end. If you want your rug to have this very long thread, then you need to pull this a bit. Otherwise, you just pull it. If you want them short, pull it up to there. So you see, that is the only end that is going to be there. But since I like mine to be super fluffy, since I like my rug to be super fluffy, I will hold this a bit like that. And then make sure I have this long one. So make sure I have enough length. And then punch. So if you have this long thread, you can adjust it using this by pulling this end like that. Then you can continue. So 
basically I'm going to punch until all this part is filled with starch. So if you like, you can punch backwards. Please watch Maggie's DIY rags. It's the playlist I have put in this channel. It has all sorts of shaggy rags and how to make them. Like this one. So this is when you mix colors and then you're making this shaggy rag on a fabric like this one or cloth. And then you can have, you will see also the video on how to make such a fluffy rag while also using fabric. And then there's how to make this fluffy one, this fluffy rag. It looks like the one I had made on sack except that I made this using a cloth or fabric. So I will show you how to make this also. Also, there is a video on how to make a shaggy rag using the matte mesh, different types of matte meshes, and also how to use a crochet. Like if you do not have the fabric and you do not have the sack material and you do not have the matte mesh, then you can use just your thread alone. And in that case, some of the tools you might need so some of the tools you might need when you want to make your DIY rag could be the normal crochet, especially if you're not using any of the mat mesh or sack or fabric, you will need to use only this crochet or you can use this latch. Yeah, sorry, I got colored from my pen. So you can use this latch crochet. This is when you have a mat mesh like this one and then you might need sewing needles, sewing needle and sewing thread when you're using fabric or cloth or t-shirt to make your shaggy rag. So watch this playlist if you want to see how you can make your fluffy rag, your rag, your math, your DIY rag, whatever you call it. So watch this playlist to see how you can make whatever you want. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and comment. If you're facing any challenges, please leave a comment. If you ask, if your rug came out nicely, please show us and leave a comment in the comment section. We can actually put some of those comments on Facebook, on my Facebook page and Facebook group or Instagram or Twitter called Maggie's DIY World. So if you cannot attach an image on YouTube on the comment section, just join Facebook, my Facebook group, Maggie's DIY World, also Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram. They go by the same name, Maggie's DIY World. So you can post there your comments or your images and encourage each other.